Fire TV, your number one stop for news. Hello viewer, many thanks for joining us. This is Acquired TV News. Joy Reda Omadere is my name. The headline, the e-learning management system training of the Auto State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara. The Auto State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara Otsa Orientation. The 20th matriculation ceremony of the Auto State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara. The e-learning management system training for both lecturers and students of the Auto State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara ends on Friday. The lecturers have been lectured on how to lecture, give assignments and conduct tests via the e-learning management system and the students how to study, do their assignments and write their tests online. According to the educator, examination exercise will not be carried out on the e-learning management system. The orientation ceremony of the Auto State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara took place on the 21st of March 2022 at the School Auditorium Hall. The Rector, Engineer Professor Emmanuel Apoi Ogunjo and other important personalities were present. The ceremony was educating and also entertaining. Correspondent Georgina has the news and details. Good evening, you are. You are welcome to Acquire TV News. My name is Udile Georgina. Data State Polytech the OTFA Ogara is holding our 2021-2022 orientation today, the 21st of March 2022. The orientation ceremony commenced with the procession of the Great Rector, Engineer Professor Emmanuel Apoyi Ogujo, alongside the Deputy Rector, Dr. Felis Agbaro, the Dean of Students Affairs, Pastor Samuel Onudu, the HOD of Social Science, the Dean of Business Studies, the School Registrar, the School Bursars, the Chief Librarian of the Great Institution, Professor Samuel Oginovu Asagba, Dr. Fabian Ameshina, Chief Lecturer Mr. Bola, Dignity Mrs. Joy, Mr. Clinton Agboji, the SUG President and ESCOS. The students of the institution are also present. Thereafter, the rector gave his speech. The ceremony is indeed educative, as various speakers educate the students on various aspects, some of which are poor academic performance by Professor Samuel Oginovo Asagwa, Dr. Fabian Ameshina, talk on drugs abuse, Dignity Mrs. Joy, gave the student study skills for examination success. The deputy rector then talked about indice dressing and many more. The entertainment session was not left at, as well as entertainer graced the occasion. A spoken word was also said by an HND student about school not being a scam. The ceremony ended with a closing prayer by the deputy rector. Some of the students had something to say. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? Leslie. What's your department? Consulting. What's the orientation all about? The orientation is how they tell us how the school is and how we can work in the school. What have you learned so far? They tell us the main principal, how the school guidance, how they guide the school, how, how can we work in all the Hello, what's your name? My name is Wells. What department are you in? What's the reason for today's lab? Uh, today we did our orientation concerning the matric. Oh, what did you learn from the orientation? I learned many things. I learned dressing code, the past studies, French grammar. I learned a lot of things. Good afternoon. Afternoon. What's your name and your department? My name is Akibe Innocent. I'm from Mascom ND1. Okay. What's the reason for today's gathering? We are here to be oriented for orientation. What have you learned so far? Um, about the do's and don'ts of the school. Hello, please, what's your name? My name is Blaise Nchimike. What department are you? I'm from accounting department. What is the reason for today's gathering? Today's gathering is about the orientation. That's why we're here today. What did you learn from today's orientation? I learned about drug abuse. I'm sure I'm using this drug. Delta State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara conducts a 20th matriculation ceremony for the 2021-2022 academic section on Tuesday, the 22nd of March 2022 at the School Auditorium Hall. The occasion is a success as the rector of the institution and other officers are present. The reports. The Delta State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara celebrates our 20th matriculation ceremony today, the 22nd of March 2022. The event key starts with the possession of the great rector of the institution, Engineer Professor Emmanuel Agui Okunjo, and his profession team, among whom are Dr. Felis Ekporo, the deputy rector, the registrar, Mr. Efedi Shukwemeka, the bossa, Mr. Lucas Onurigo, the chief librarian, Professor Mrs. Amina Akorno, 
the Dean of Student Affairs, Pastor Samuel Enudi, Dean of School of Business Studies, Mr. Roman Orukbe, the Dean of School of General Science, Mr. Okogu Samuel, Dean of School of Engineering, Engineer Collins Oni Yomofe, Dean of School of Applied Science and Technology, Dr. Andrew Mayor, the HOD of Mass Communication, Mr. Arimeta Oma Muime, good luck. HOD of Science Laboratory Technology, Mr. Isosio Isaac. HOD of Statistics, Mr. Anthony Odio. HOD of Office Technology and Management, Mr. Steve Usakwe. The event was declared open by the director. The registrar invites the director for his address. Thereafter, the new intakes being led by the registrar to the matriculation oath and were officially admitted into the great institution by the director. Students representing each school signed the matriculation register and the director of the institution declared the 2021-2022 matriculation ceremony of Data State Polytechnic Otefe Ogara closed. Good day, sir. Sir, please, what is your name and your position in this institution? All right, thank you very much. My name is Komun Fo Evans the SUG president of this great institution and also the director of campus intervention, South South and South East. Okay, sir. Sir, please, what is today's celebration all about? Anyway, today is all about uh, celebrating those newly admitted students, welcoming them on, uh, to campus and uh, telling them about what to do and what not to do. So in a general terms, it's called matriculation. Okay. Sir, as a SUG president, what is your advice to the new students or new intake? All right, uh, my simple advice for those newly admitted students is just for them to do the needful in the sense that here in the institution there are many things that will distract students and uh, it's just for them to know the reason, the purpose why they came to school by reading their books and concentrate on their homework. So I, I will also advise them to remove their hands in anything that uh, constitutes nuisance, courtism, and uh, some kind of things that will lead them no, nowhere. So I will also cajole them, especially to obey the authority of the institution, management. So that is that for that. Okay, thank you, sir. Good day. Good day. What's your name? I'm Ajari Rosemary. What department are you? From Science Laboratory Technology. What level? In the one regular one. In the one regular one. So you are among those that are doing matriculation today? Yes. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so how do you feel about today's ceremony? I'm fine. I'm feeling good that we are having matriculation today. How do you feel when you gain admission into this great institution? I'm very happy because it's not, though it's not that easy to get admission to university, but it's by the grace of God, by the help of God. I'm so happy that I'm, I get admission to this school today. Wow, that's very good. So after maybe when you're through with all your and stuff, and so what will be your next agenda, like your next move in the future? My next move in the future is that if I will call for HNG, I will go and look for a good business, a good work to learn for coming back. So that when I came back, I know that I see that one year, I see it to do a great thing. Wow. Thank you very much. Good day, sir. Yeah. Please, what is your name and your position in this institution? Okay. I am Okuro Ferdinand Eloke, immediate past HOD, Mass Communication Department. Okay, sir. Sir, please, what is today's celebration all about? It's, we are celebrating the matriculation ceremony for new entrants, those newly admitted into the school. It's a ritual. They have to be initiated into the academic life. As a father of this institution, mm. what is your advice you give to the new intake? What I normally say is, after matriculation, what next? You have been initiated into the academic life. The best thing now to do is go home, get prepared. It is not enough to matriculate, but you should work towards convocation. Good day, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, sir. Yes. Sir, please, what's your position in this great institution? Well, first of all, my name is uh, Arimitan Goodluck. I'm the head of the Department of uh, Mass Communication Department, School of Business, Data State Polytechnic, Otefi Ogara. 
So please, what is today's event all about? Uh, it's the matriculation ceremony. The, the cross of the matriculation ceremony is to ensure that students are officially admitted into the Polytechnic by the Rector. So sir, what are your advice for the freshers and those that are matriculating today? What are your advice? My for advice for them is to go back to the Rector's speech and accept everything they saw there. They see the hook, line and sinker. Because the rector has made some salient points in that place. He told you about those who feel that education is a scam. He indeed made mention of those things and told you that those who feel that if you feel education is a scam, there wouldn't have been need for you to be in school. That if he too and those of us sitting on the high table felt education was a scam, there wouldn't have been need for us to be on that high table. And he told you the importance of being educated. He also made you know that this place is a constituted ground and that you must respe respect constituted authority and ensure that you follow the rules and regulations that are presented before you. Even in your matriculation oath, you did sign that you were going to abide by the rules and regulations of this institution. And that includes issues of discipline, issues of misconduct, issues of maladministration and all that. So I think the director, the director's speech encapsulated everything that you need to do about today's event. So all students are advised to go back to that speech because it's in the matriculation brochure. Go back to that speech, study it, Look at the rules and regulations that I read out before you and then work with the rules and regulations. If you do that, I think the sky will be your limit. Because your tenure here, you, are in, you, are, you have come here for a period of time. Your end is supposed to be two years period. But if you fall short of these rules and regulations, I assure you, you may be here for another five years, still running for your end. But if you work with the rules and regulations, obey your lecturers, you know, you don't constitute nuisance, you dress decently, you attend lectures regularly, you have no reason to fail your exams. So I urge you to go back to the rector's speech because I think that speech is well loaded. Everything there is good enough for students to understand. So I'm sure if you go by these rules, your stay in this polytechnic will be very peaceful and you are, you are going to graduate at the very time you are supposed to graduate from this institution. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you. Many thanks for staying with us. You can follow us on our social media platform, Acquire, Acquire TV, TV News. Till I come your way again, I am Joy Roda Omadudu. Thank you.